war so. This is place the movie film and it's time to continue prison break exactly where I left off. So without further ado, let's get started. The episode starts with a nice conversation between Michael Schofield and Sarah. I got nothing to say about this scene other than the fact that it's nice. And then I noticed Michael Schofield using some poison to the sewers and I'm like wait a minute I'm not watching the right episode I'm pretty sure I saw this scene already but then I figured out yes I am watching a different episode it just happens to do one thing that he did in that fucking episode weird meanwhile outside the prison cells Quinn hurts himself is he gonna frame Algie yet again it was bad enough that those shitty Asians framed him earlier on, but doing it again is totally fucking unacceptable. Meanwhile, near the whole, T-Bag proves yet again how much of a douchebag he is. And then Michael Schofield meets up with his wife, which brings him a credit card. Why the hell would you need a credit card in prison? My guess is he is using it to damage something. It will be revealed later on in the episode. As it turns out, this isn't a credit card at all, but instead an access card. Damn, I didn't see that coming, though to be fair, I should have seen it coming. As it turns out, he is using the access card to go to a restricted storage room. He's there to read some documents. And I gotta admit, the fact that he is able to get into the storage room undetected truly makes him a fucking genius. Now remember earlier on the video when I said that Quinn was hurting himself? Well, apparently he wasn't doing it to frame out Jay. In fact, he was doing it to trick those people to get him inside. And this sick, sick man keeps Veronica as a fucking prisoner and also shoots Nick. May Nick rest in peace. I am so sad that Nick died. Or he seems dead here. But yeah, this cunty motherfucker really pisses me off. And I hope that he gets what he deserves. Michael Schofield also finds a lot of his fucking items which he is gonna use. And while getting these items we also get a very great flashback on him giving these items to the guard. The fact that he manages to get all those items and nobody detects him on the security camera is so fucking awesome. How the hell does he manage to do that? I don't know. It proves how much of a fucking genius he is. Now Quinn has a conversation with Nick. You know what that means? That means I was wrong and he did survive the bullet. Well, to be fair, he didn't exactly shoot him in the heart. But Nick is very fucking hurt though. He can hit that shitty agent with anything. You know, there is something that I like about this Asian though. He is a great villain. He's getting me angry and I'm supposed to be angry. He is a villain after all, so yeah. I love how this episode shows the harshness of that shitty Asian Quinn. Charles has a conversation with Pope and finds out that his daughter is very injured. Unfortunately, he isn't allowed to see her because of the prison regulations. And for that, I feel really fucking sorry for the guy. He just wants to see his fucking daughter. But he is a criminal though, so I guess it kinda makes sense. Doesn't just the fact though that I feel bad for him. Oh, and by the way, this guy right here, he fucking helps Michael Schofield out a lot. It does it even more now since he is now more desperate than ever to get out of the fucking prison. And that's totally understandable. And then after Michael Scoville wants to see Sarah, she is not there but she's replaced by someone else. But then a very injured man goes to the fucking room 
and has to be healed and he blinks at Michael Schofield. Well, okay then. So he's just fucking faking it? Okay then, moving on. Back at Veronica's place, she uses a fucking chair to beat the shit out of that shitty guy. And I gotta admit, that is beyond fucking awesome. Hell yeah, this guy deserves it. And then Quinn tries to fucking kill LJ. Then will this cunt give up? I want something bad to happen to this guy so much. And then Michael Schofield attaches a watch to a cell phone. Now this is what I fucking know about Michael Schofield. He uses all sorts of tools that normally wouldn't work for his plans and finds a way to make them work. And you never know exactly how he is gonna use those tools until he actually does fucking use them. And that honestly makes this show prison break kind of a mystery, a fucking awesome mystery, but a mystery nonetheless. Of course it's revealed later on in the episode what he is gonna use this for, but as of right now, I can only guess. Back outside the prison cells, LJ throws Quinn to a fucking hole. Hell yeah, that motherfucking cunt had it coming. Seeing him get any punishment he deserves really makes me fucking happy. Hell yeah, man, hell yeah. Meanwhile, at a strip club, Bellak threatens Nika Wolek, who is Schofield's wife. That she has to tell him everything she knows about Schofield or else. Unfortunately for him, she doesn't know that much. All she knows is that she was asked to bring Schofield a fucking credit card. You know, I'm actually rooting for Spellek to get Schofield because he is a good guy and he should get him eventually. Yeah, it's weird that I'm rooting for both the protagonist and someone who is against him. But stuff like that happens, man. Sarah meets up with Michael Schofield and she suspects that Michael Schofield is up to something. Yeah, Michael Schofield kinda is in trouble now. I mean, she was gonna figure this out sooner or later. As it turns out, this Quinn guy isn't needed anymore. The Asians that hire him decide to leave him there and even close the fucking hole. Why would they do that? I mean seriously, I thought he worked for those two. But at the same time though, I'm very fucking happy that he has to be down there and rot to death. Hell yeah, that motherfucker deserves it. And the episode ends with Michael Schofield finding out the perfect timing to escape prison. So that's what this cell phone watch was used for. Fucking nice! Now it's time for my overall thoughts. This episode is fucking awesome and I can't wait to analyze the next one. And for that I'm going to give this episode rating two thumbs up. Well guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.